Uh, Victor, just uh, talk about the block that you had in there in the first, in the, in the big block. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Jordan did a good job of getting down, uh, getting back on defense. And um, they've been telling me not to try to, you know, block shots when I'm guarding my man, but try to do it off the weak side. So I just timed my jump and I just timed it right. And, uh, you know, I just blocked it, tried to block it to a teammate. Luckily, Will was there. So, you know, it was a, it was a good, good play, I guess. When you guys get a big lead like that, is it hard to kind of stay focused in that kind of a game? Um, not necessarily. Um, I think just being more anxious, you know, to get up more and to, um, to maintain that lead is, is sometimes an, an issue. <clears throat> but um, other than that, we just got to learn from it because we're going to be in leads, you know, down the road. So, you know, learn from the win just like we learned from the loss. Cody, I know the uh, rebounding was a point of emphasis, and I know you guys, like, maybe doubled them in rebounding. Can you talk about the <clears throat> success you guys had on the boards? Yeah, that's definitely uh, always one of our keys is getting on the – Getting on the glass uh, on the offensive end, as well as keeping them off the off the boards on the other end. But um, you know, that's just one of the little things that we have to do to win. Well, you seem maybe more active than at any point since you got hurt in December. Are you starting to feel a lot more comfortable? Out there? Yeah, you know, I'm just rehabbing and whatnot, and trying to get back. <coughs> um, you know, not 100 percent yet. You, know, you can tell I try to jump off one foot. It's pretty ugly, but. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get back and you know play a part on the defensive side first, and Russell come. Well, you did like? hit that jumper early. You know, hit that jumper mid range, mid range shot two minutes in the game. How much does that help your confidence when you see one of those go down? I mean, you just got you got to shoot regardless of if it goes in or not. They're good shots. Um, it def definitely does help if you see a couple go in. But um, you know, uh, good shooters like Roth, you can tell if he misses the next three. If he's open for the fourth, it's still going up. So you just got to take open shots. What was it like for you guys to have Coach Harbaugh setting up chairs for you during the timeout? Um, it's an honor, you know. Um, he's a very successful head coach. Um, I believe he's the head coach of the year in the NFL. So, I mean, he is. it's an honor, you know, and for him to speak to us and sit on our bench. And I know he's relative with Coach Cream, but at the end of the day, he's still who he is, you know. And for him to come in and, um, and talk to us and motivate us, you know, um, is a blessing. So. What are you? <clears throat> you know, just telling us to go out there, you know, play hard and, you know, just give the coaches what they want and things like that, you know, just giving us advice from his point of view as a coach and as a player that when he used to be. So, you know, it was, it was good for us. Vic, what, what does this do for you guys as far as kind of the, you know, little tune-up, warm-up, whatever you want to call it, between some Big Ten games? What does this do to get you guys ready for the final three regular season Big Ten games? Um, you know, it builds our confidence a little bit, you know, just because it's a big win for us, you know, undefeated in the regular season and things of that nature. But, you know, it just keeps us in that mentality of, you know, the next game, you know. And there's another game. We got to turn right back around and play another game, in the road game at that. So, I mean, we got to bounce back quick and um, get ready to play Minnesota because uh, we lost it when it was in here. So, it's a big, it's a big game for us. Christian had another tough night shooting the ball, but what do you guys? What can you guys do to, I mean, kind of try to pick him up right now? Uh, Christian will be fine. Uh, you know, like I said, the shot's not falling, but he's a good shooter, so um, you just got to keep on shooting. And, um, I mean, they're they're good shots, so none of us have a problem with it. So we aren't worried about it. Well, what was your thoughts on uh, just facing Dominique Sutton? I mean, he, he did a lot of nice things out there. Yeah, he's a good player, obviously. Uh, you know. He, he mix it up inside and outside, and you, know, you can you can tell he just gets a lot of reps in the gym. He's, he's a good player. I mean, um, it's an experience for us to play a, a team like that. We might face teams similar to that first round, and um, you know every team has a guy that, that can play, and he can definitely play. Well, you said you're not 100. percent Is that are you more speaking towards how your foot feels or conditioning yeah. or? No, that's my foot. Yeah. Anything else for the guys? They kind of already answered this, but just what did this do for you guys just in terms of maintaining a rhythm, I guess, and just keeping it going? <coughs> you know, doing this three games, three weeks, like it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, it did It did help, you know, having a, a whole week off would have been a long break for us. Um, so it's nice just uh, getting out there and playing. Um, you know, we can, we can learn from uh, games like this, even though, um, you know, even, even games like this compared to Big Ten games, so we can always learn from those. So uh, we'll watch the film and try to get better every day. Okay.
Thanks. Happy Engineering Day.